Um, it was a great night, um, a great Tuesday night to get some of our fans in. Um, you know, not normally do you have this amount of fans want to come into a simple open practice, but um, I thought our team did a great job in their performance. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of new faces on the court, um, but I think this summer really helped us mesh well. So I'm proud of our team, proud of the summer that we had. I know I've asked you this before, but the size, how are you, now that you've got the team together, how are you liking the, the size of the you know, I think they're they're doing us some justice, um, especially from a rebounding perspective, um, second chance points, and even being able to enter the ball into the post. Um, you know, I think our position coaches have done a great job in development this summer. Um, so I think you know, as the as the summer as the fall continues, we'll see even more development, and hopefully at some point, um, you know, soon we'll be where we need to be. And then specifically, when, how have you seen her come along? You know. Quinn, she loves her role. Um, she loves what she does, and she loves the game of basketball. So when you watch her play, you can tell that she's super passionate about playing. Um, the way she runs the floor, the way she always has hands on the ball, she just has a nose um, for the ball. Um, and then just how she encourages and plays so hard for her teammates. I think that's probably how she came into this program, and she was able to fit right in. Mm -hmm. How did year one measure up for you as far as what you were hoping to accomplish? Yeah, um, you know, I think in year one with any position that you're in, it's a lot of other things and not as much of basketball. And so I think going into year two, that's kind of where we're hoping that, you know, we can focus more on basketball and not necessarily um, who plays well together. Just some of the simple small stuff um, that happens off the court or on the court, get to know each other. I think our team has done a great job this summer and get to know each other um, and spending time with each other and bonding. Um, so, you know, year one, I think taught us and our players how important that cohesion is off the court and able, and able for it to um, come on the court. I know you, it was toward the end of the season, you, had, you won like six out of seven before losing the last couple. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that created some good momentum going into this second half? Yeah, you know, I think if anything, it probably created a little bit more accountability um, from everybody um, involved in our program. Um, I think going from last year to this year, um, the expectations have risen. Um, you know, the level of accountability has risen. Um, and our, our performance and how hard we go has incre has gone up drastically. Um, you know, this summer was probably one of the hardest summers that some of our players have probably had. But I think at the end of the season, we'll be thankful for it. Do you feel like the expectations are going for this upcoming season are higher than you thought they would be, like when you took the job? Or? Um, you know. I'm somebody who nobody can have higher expectations for this program or myself um, other than me. Um, whatever anybody else's expectations are, mine are probably 10 times that. And so I do think you know they are higher. Um, and that's to be expected when you look at our team, when you look at our makeup. I believe we have somewhere at five or six fifth year seniors. Um, then bringing back players, you know, I think you know, it's, it's inevitable that, you know, we need to have better performances. We need to have better results in our season. Speaking of expectations, what's your expectation of a player like Hannah? You know, Hannah was probably, in my opinion, um, in the league and on our team, she was probably the most improved player. Um, I thought Hannah at the beginning of the season was holding back because she has some tools in her. Um, and so now that we're kind of almost two years in and two years into her development, um, I think everybody can see now that she, now she's putting the ball on the, on the ground. Now she's getting to the rim. Now she can shoot the three. Um, and so I, I'm very, very proud of her and the growth that she's had and um, looking forward to just seeing her let loose on the court this season. What are some of the, if you had to pick like a top two or three in terms of like signs of progress that you've noticed over the summer? I think the, I would probably say the most progression this summer would probably be Raven Sims and Hannah Riddick. Um, you know, Raven was obviously somebody who we brought in off the bench, um, especially for defensive purposes. Um, I challenged her this summer that we can't, you can't have that role anymore, solely that role. 
Um, Raven has worked hard with her position coach and getting in the gym and working on her shot. Um, to me, it was a matter of just confidence. Um, and she's done a great job of selling out. She's done a great job of selling out uh, to shooting her shot and being confident in it. And I think um, we have also figured out that, you know, we may be able to move Raven back and forth from the wing um, to the point situationally. So um, those two players, you know, have done a great job this summer. Yeah, I think the obvious answer to that would be Elijah Smith. Um, you know, she's vocal, she plays hard, she's what I would call a do-it-all player. Um, she does every single thing on the court um, that we need her to do, that her team needs her to do. Um, sometimes she doesn't need to do it and she still does it. Um, so I think, you know, from, from an overall perspective, it would be Elijah Smith and then um, you know, right now we have um, point, two people who are playing the point guard in Destiny Jackson and Tanuel Welch. Um, obviously, she's just coming back, but, you know, I've always told her and she's always had the voice of a leader, Tan has. Um, and so hoping that she continues to get more comfortable playing um, and that will also grow her leadership. Yeah, like I, I said, I it, it's super early, yeah. Um, uh, but, you know, I think, again, with the makeup of our team, um, I feel pretty confident in what we're doing right now. Um, we, we spent a lot of summer on being intentional on what we were doing and how we were doing it now. It takes a lot of patience to be intentional because you have to slow down a little bit. Um, but I feel like because we slowed down, because we're breaking thing down, things down more, um, that has really helped our team get further than trying to speed up the process. So you had to, looking at where your team is here now and where you want them to be at the start of the season, what are areas that you kind of want to still see that growth in the moment? Um, definitely on the defensive end, we hadn't focused too much on defense. Um, you know, we're just trying to put in our simple principles, but um, I think as we as we move forward into the fall, um, defense will definitely be a, a focus for our team and for our players. Because, um, like I said, we haven't done very much of it this summer. What did you like about the depth you guys in the backcourt with Ilana and Tilly before? They, you know, Ilana and Tilly, they add a lot of offensive um, depth for us. Um, and I think, you know, if all things happen how they're supposed to, we put ourselves in a situation that. Um, whether it's starting or coming off the bench, neither one of those things matter uh, because we have players like that coming in or starting our games. And so I think they put a lot more confidence um, into our offense and they put a lot more confidence into our point guards um, because, you know, not only do you have one, but you have two players who have won at a high level, who have won championships, who went to the NCAA tournament. Um, so that's important when you look at, you know, who you're playing with. Yeah, you know, if anybody knows me, they know we're not going to cake our schedule. Um, that's something that have, I have always been a believer in. Um, you know, I think in order to uh, see what you're ready for, you got to be thrown into the fire. And so I wanted to do that as quickly as possible. And so for Louisville, for um, Tennessee to come in here, us going to Mississippi State on the road, um, you know, that's huge for our team, and I think it's not necessarily going to define us, but it's going to let us know um, where we are at that time of the season. Yeah, so right now we have two freshmen, um, Taylor Barner and Tamaya Smith. Taylor is hurt right now. Um, she um, hurt her knee at the end of her high school season, so she's in the process of rehabbing and things like that. Um, but Tamaya, you know, she's somebody who I could see playing as a freshman. Um, she brings size. She's a 6'2 guard. Um, how she you know, shoots the ball, um, you know, she, she's a bit unorthodox in how she plays, but she gets the job done. Um, so again, her being a freshman, um, she has some development to do and some concepts that she needs to learn, um, but I definitely see her doing something for us this season.